And we're back guys welcome to part seven the australian open preview and prediction and pretty much if you have not watched the other videos go watch them you'll find some useful information and you might find a match that you like and agree with me that you can pick uh remember guys this is for entertainment purposes only this is just a hobby we're just talking tennis whatever decision you make is yours and you are responsible for your own decisions let's do it guys the Australian Open WTA. Listen, guys, the winner's gonna get a ton of money. Like, let's be honest, guys, two thousand points. They're gonna accumulate over three million dollars. And look, even the runner-up's gonna get twelve hundred points and should accumulate over two million dollars. This is gonna be amazing, guys. Sabalenka versus Teresa Martinsova. Sabalenka coming off of a 33 win season she's 4-0 this year guys and she started off with a bang she won the adelaide taking out Lena noskova from the hard-hitting czech republic she's going to be taking on martinsova who is also from the czech republic uh, i see healthy though a losing season last time out 22 and 28 last year i mean she followed a 41 win season up with 22 wins but she was injured i said that a lot and i mean a lot of people don't realize Sabalenka is pretty young, guys. She was born in 1998. Martinsova is going to be the older player in this match. And Martinsova is a veteran, guys. She's won a lot more matches than Sabalenka, but that hasn't really transferred over to the main tour. If Martinsova is healthy, she can compete. But I do see Sabalenka just winning this match and edging out Teresa. Sabalenka on the money line. That's the pick. Next match, who we got there? What does that say? Shelby Rogers. Who's she taking on? Ariane. And listen, guys, Shelby Rogers from the USA. She's ranked 53 uh, in the nation, in the world, rather, on tour. Shelby Rogers has only won, like, three of her last 10 matches, four maybe, I don't know, something like that. She lost to Zhang last time out, did go three sets. She lost to Pliskova. She did beat Marta Kasu, which is a good win. She lost to Big U in the Adelaide first round. And she's taking on someone that's hot, coming through qualifiers. Look, she's warmed up to the court. She beat Pagasi, which is a good match. And I'm talking about Ariane, that is. Pagasi was a good match. And look, she's won 80 matches her last few years. I mean, she's she's not that much uh, younger than Shelby Rogers, to be honest with you. Uh, but her career is just getting started, just heating up, to be honest with you. Uh, but I like Shelby Rogers to get this win. This is a perfect match to get Shelby Rogers, you know, one step closer to making the round of 32. She's got a good chance to make the round of 32, but I like Shelby Rogers on the money line. I mean, decent value. I don't think she's too overpriced here. I like Shelby to win. I think Shelby's back end is just going to be too much for Ariane. All right, who's next here? Lauren Davis, Danka, Kovinic. Look, this is a match where Danka owns that head. She's beat Lauren Davis twice already. She did it once already at Auckland. And look, I mean, Danka, we saw Coco Golf demolish her. Yes, that's right. Coco Golf beat her in straight set, six love, six two. But she's a pretty decent player. She's won seven over the last 10. She's beat Kuzmova, which is a good player. She beat Lauren Davis. She beat Hibuno. And of course, Lauren Davis is hot, guys, right? Lauren Davis on a seven match win streak. She went through the Hobart. Uh, final beating Elizabeth Cocoreto. You guys like that lock I gave you. Lauren Davis was the underdog in that match. Now, Lauren Davis looks good. She plays her best tennis in Australia, coming off of a 28 win season, taking on Danka Kovinic, coming off of a 29 win season. Danka's a veteran, uh, and um, not only has he beat her twice, look, she's got the longer career. Um, is Danka left? No, I think she's right handed. Look, she had the chance to end Serena Williams' career. She couldn't do it in front of the the, the huge USA Open crowd. I was there, 25,000 people all packed to see Serena Williams win. And listen, guys, this is a match up here where I think Lauren Davis is due for a letdown, guys. Um, I got to take Danka Kovinic getting four and a half free games on the alternate spread. I like Danka getting four and a half. And, um, I could see Danko winning this match outright, to be honest with you. But I like Danko to win four and a half games. That's the official pick. Who's next? Garbina Mukurusa and Elise Mertens. This is going to be a tough match, guys. And to be honest with you, it's a pick em. I don't know who the heck's going to win this match. I'm just being honest with you. These are two ladies that I wouldn't back. Um, I wouldn't back Garbina. I think she looks horrible. Elise has trouble getting the ball in play. Carbinia is coming off of a 12 and 17 win season. She's lost both of her matches this year. I mean, she's played two matches. She lost to Belinda Bensick. Bianca and Dressu, she gave her a donut. Then she lost the next two sets. 
Elise Mertens lost to Zinevska, who's fit in athletics. He played Zachary, two tough matches. And look, the head to head, I mean, Muguruza owns the head to head. She's beat Mertens twice. The last came 2021 at Dubai. This is a match where you gotta take the total. Two ladies are struggling. I don't even want to think about picking a winner because it's a, it's a coin flip. You know, there's no edge going with either player. Garbinia plays her best in Australia. She's an Australian Open champion. Uh, but I take the over 19 and a half games. It's, it's a good price. Uh, probably going to be a sloppy game. Elise has trouble getting the ball in play. She breaks down normally about the seventh or eighth service game. Over 19 and a half. That's my pick, guys. All right, what do we have here? Who's next? Martina Trevisan, Chow Bela taking on Smidlova. Look, this is a match where Trevisan, we all know she's, uh, look, she's ranked 22nd from her huge performance at the French Open last year. She's uh, from Italy. She prefers to play on clay. Trevisan did really good, right? At the United Cup, she gave Pagula a good match in the first set. She uh, beat Zachary. She gave uh, Iga a, a tough time there. I mean, overall, she's won four of her last 10. Schmidlova coming through qualifiers. She's adjusted to the courts already. She beat Ponche, who's very tricky. Uh, she beat Manlik, who's good, young, fit, and strong. The head-to-head -head is 1-1. One -one. Trevisan won the last time they played. And Trevisan, look, a ton of championships, right? 11 championships on the ITF. Good, good player. But I don't think there's any value on her here. I like uh, Schmidlova to win at least a set. If I had to pick, I take uh, Smidlova to beat Trevisan outright. But the official pick is for Anna Smidlova on the set spread. Uh, it's going to be good value for her to at least win one set. That's my pick. All right, who's next? Uh, Camilla Giorgi and Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. Look, they be giving Giorgi, Giorgi some tough matches, man, in these slams. It's like... Um, they be giving Georgie tough matches every slam. It doesn't stop. It's like, you know, we all know Georgie is a bigger star off the court. It's like, you know, sometimes when players think they're bigger than the game, they try to bring them back down. But I think Serena Williams is the only exception to that because she was the game. She was the sport for the last 20 years. Uh, Serena was big time. Anastasia, look, we all know she's trying to get the car started again. Only played six matches last year. She played one this year. Jill Teichman beat her in straight sets. Uh, Jill Teichman, crafty lefty. And look, she put up a fight with Jill Teichman, right? That went over 7 5 6 4. And Camilla Giorgi, uh, look, she's trying to get active again as well. I mean, Camilla Giorgi, look, she played, uh, she hasn't played at all. She played Serana Sorstea, the Adelaide 2, she, and that was the qualifying first round. She lost 2-1. This is, uh, look, this is like a 50-50 matchup. This is a pick, to be honest with you. And first of all, I take the total. So whatever the total is, what was it? I'll take the over 19 and a half. That's going to be the best pick. If I had to pick someone to win, I would go Georgie just because she's she's probably going to be a little bit. She's always in shape, right? She's going to probably going to be a little bit fitter than Anastasia. She could probably move her from side to side. She'll definitely be able to return Anastasia's power. But will Anastasia be able to keep up with the athletic ability of Georgie? Uh, the official pick, the over 19 and a half games, that's the best value. All right. Madison Bringle, Claire Lou. Uh, let's see. So Claire Lou, I mean, the head to head is 1 1. Claire Lou winning the most recent between these two. Claire Lou struggling, losing to Linda Noskova. She lost to Putin Seva. And uh, I mean, Adelaide and Hobart. Look, she had an invitation to both tournaments and she lost both matches. I mean, she lost to Putin Seva 6 2, 6 4. And look, I like Claire Lou as a player. Uh, Madison Pringle, definitely the more experienced player. But, I mean, she doesn't look good, good either. She lost to Lin Zhu. Like, are you kidding me? Lin Zhu took her to three sets. And, I mean, that that's... Look, I honestly would hate to back Claire Lou, but uh, I, I think she's I think she's she's the favorite in this match. And to be honest with you, I think she's got a, just a little bit in her tank to get past Madison Bringle just enough I do see it going it's probably gonna go over like an 18 and a half games that's a good number to take over but I see uh, Claire Lou winning this match barely she, Claire Lou will barely win this match but she should win it on the money line and who's next there Vic 
Victoria Tomova taking on Belinda Bensick. How's Belinda gonna do after winning that huge match against Kasakina? Now Tomova is a little bit more aggressive than um, than a Kasakina. Tomova's got a really really good backhand. She's from Belgium. She's a hard hitter, and look, she's a veteran, right? She's um well, I mean, she's 27 years old, but she's got over 450 wins on her career. And she's trying to get the car started again. She's 0-1 to start the season, but she's coming off of a 45-win season. And it's going to be good because both of these ladies like their backhand. But, I mean, look at the competition. Belinda Bensick just beat Muguruza, Kalinskaya, Carolyn Garcia, Kudamatova, Kasakina. She's just running off names on the hit list. So um, you have to take Belinda Bensick to win this match. She will get through to the next round. Um, and, guys, look. Stay tuned. One more video remaining, part eight. If you listened so far, please like the video, show some love. You can super thanks and donate to the channel. See you guys soon.